This example shows how to use Flutter and Flame to tap to a point on your mobile or desktop screen and rotate a sprite to the point. This is the deceleration animation curve. Another curve is the ease in out back. I welcome improvements to the algorithm to calculate the angle difference between the point of the sprite and the point of the tap. This example uses a fairly crude method that I wrote. I believe there's likely a better example of how to calculate the angle between two points. Please post in the comments. You can also instantly tap and then switch the sprite direction or the angle to the tap point without having to use some type of rotation animation. You can flip it back and forth uh, instantaneously or speed up the rate of rotation so that it quickly goes to the point that you're tapping on. To get started with the tutorial, first go to this repository on GitHub and download the sample code. The tutorial comes with a fairly crude and basic algorithm to calculate the angle between uh, two vector points. After you clone the repository, run flutter pub get, then go into the code and delete most of the other code so, such that you just have the sprite on the screen. I have many other videos on how to get to this point. Make sure the anchor point of the sprite is pointed to the center. With the ship anchor as anchor.center, we next need to calculate the tap point. So we're gonna to need to use the mixin tap detector, which is part of the gestures package of flame. If you don't have auto import, uh, make sure that the gestures package is imported. With the new mixin, we now have access to a new method called on tap up, which is part of the flame gestures package. And from that, we can extract the tap up info. So there's a lot of uh, control you have over this, but we're just in this example, we're just gonna use the tap up info. And then from there, we can extract the point. We're gonna assign the point at which you either use your finger on the mobile screen or the mouse as the tap position and extract it with tap position dot event position dot game. And then let's print it out. The, the the value return is actually going to be a vector two. So to actually manipulate this, we're going to have to use a dart vector package. I have an example function here that does it for you. The vector uh, numbers respond as you would expect, right? So the, the first coordinate is the x position. It's a two point vector on a plane. And the second number is the y position. So unless you're doing calculations on this, you can just basically think of it as the X and Y coordinates. However, if you are trying to pass it into another function or some type of method for manipulation, um, just check the runtime type here and it is going to be a vector two. The ship is a sprite component and the sprite component also has a property for position. That's also a vector two. Uh, it, it uses the same package from the Dart vector math package that Google produced. Just to be clear, we'll store this in the variable called ship position, and we can extract it from the name of the sprite component, which is ship dot position. So we'll call the variable ship position, but it's a property within the sprite component, the position, so we can just easily extract it. At this point, we now know what the position of the ship is, and we also have the position at that moment of the place where you either tapped on the screen on the mobile device or you tapped on the mouse. So with these two positions, we can now calculate the angle difference between the sprite and the tap. So the sample tutorial does come with a get angle function. Um, that I quickly wrote. I think there's actually still some problems in it, but let's use it for this tutorial to get you started. <clears throat> the uh, syntax of the function, which uh, hopefully you can rewrite, is get angle. You pass it the first position, which is the ship, and the second position, which is the tap position. 
And with that, you get the angle that you can use for the rotation. So with the angle that we need to move to, uh, we can access the sprite component. It has a property called angle. So all we need to do is set the angle of the any sprite on the screen to the angle of the tap point, uh, which would it's relative. It's going to be relative to the wherever the sprite the original sprite component is. But with that angle, if you just set it to it, you'll have an instantaneous rotation. Make sure the ship dot anchor is set to anchor dot center. Uh, and with that, you can set the ship dot angle, which is the property of the sprite component to the new angle. So now whenever you press on the screen, uh, it will turn to that precise angle. Hi, this is my 26 video for uh, flame tutorials. You might want to subscribe to the channel and I'll keep going here. It's a hobby as I document my learning process with flame. I learned from people in the comments. This person, Go, Grow Gogo, um, asked a question and is also has a solution. Because you can't put links, I think, in the YouTube comments, if you have a solution, feel free to maybe put your GitHub uh, account name and then a space and then the name of the repo, and I can search on Google or on GitHub for that. Thank you.